everyone welcome back to my channel this is the melanin srna i am coming back to you with another video in today's video i'm going to be discussing how i juggle or manage being a mom with a new baby um, all while being a student in crna school so if you are interested then please keep on watching first i definitely want to say that being a mom and having a new baby while being in a tough program is definitely not easy however it is definitely doable and definitely manageable so some of the tips that I'm going to just be mentioning is what has worked for me in this process. So first things first is just keeping my daughter on a schedule. I started really implementing um, her being on a schedule right around eight weeks and I've been in CRNA school for about a, a good month now. My daughter's three months as of right now. And the way that I kind of keep her on a schedule is and I will be referring to a book that I currently have that kind of is like a guide. So I will list it down below as to what book I'm really kind of following. Um, but it's basically a book about sleep training your child by 12 weeks so they can sleep 12 hours a, a night. However, I wake her up around 6.30 or 7 or she'll wake up on her own. I feed her every four hours and I let her nap a total between four hours during the day so I split it up depending on what exactly I have to do that day so I either do either one hour in the morning and two in the afternoon or vice versa or just half and half and then I try to have her down for bed between 7 30 and 8 and she normally sleeps around 10 to 12 hours a night with only having to wake up once for a nighttime feed so that's pretty much her schedule basically the book has three criteria in order to like really start sleep training your um, baby. The first one is they have to be at least nine pounds. The second one is drink a total of 24 ounces in a 24 hour period. And I'm not 100% sure what the last one is. I will list it down below as well to, to let you know what the last one is. And basically with the 24 ounces in 24 hours, when you split up four hours they should be taking a total of six ounces per feed however my daughter doesn't take six ounces per feed she's right around four four and a half so i have to end up adding in like an extra feeding time for her so that once she so once she reaches six ounces per feeding i will eventually cut out that nighttime feed and then she'll be able to sleep completely that 12 hours throughout the night so that's kind of like my schedule right now as to how i have her and if you want another if you want a video about like in depth about sleep training and like tips and tricks and stuff like that I can do that too just let me know in the comments when I put her down at night is when I really start like hardcore studying so I take that from 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. right around till midnight or 12 30 and I really just like really in depth going through my notes going through my lecture to really make sure I comprehend the content or I either take that time and um, FaceTime like a study buddy and we'll just go over like the lecture and bounce ideas back and forth just to make sure we both understand the material that's going on and then throughout the day of course it varies whether or not she's napping or I'm busy feeding her but I do study throughout the day with her I just don't have the solid block of time that most people do would have without having a kid so basically I'm either like listening to lecture majority of the time or writing my notes, reading through the PowerPoint or doing my Quizlet just to make sure that I am somehow implementing studying throughout the day when I have her with me. So that's definitely one thing that I definitely have to say is just making sure your child is on a schedule. And another thing in regards to feeding, I was breastfeeding her in the beginning and I loves breastfeeding. I really wanted to do it continuously. However, I just wasn't making enough milk. So I still do pump. Um, I just, like I said, I do have a low supply, but I do supplement with formula. So I eventually had to stop breastfeeding um, completely because I was breastfeeding up until I started school, but I stopped breastfeeding completely and just exclusively pumped. And then I'll just make her bottles and bottle feed her. So luckily, I didn't have any issues transitioning her from breast to bottle. It was pretty simple for me. But I know a lot of moms do have that issue. 
I didn't and I think it's because I had to bottle feed her in the beginning that's another thing you would have to consider if it worked for you if you wanted to stop breastfeeding and end up pumping but that has worked for me another thing that I um, do to help manage my time is definitely setting goals throughout the day it's tough just juggling it and not having enough time to do all the things that you need to do but I really try to make sure I set a goal as to what I want to accomplish if it's I need to go through this whole entire lecture and really write out detailed notes or complete my Quizlet or listen to these entire lectures I really try to make sure I set a goal so that I feel like I'm being productive for example this week I have two exams coming up I have a chemistry exam that is an online exam that's open for a week I have a physics exam as well that is tomorrow so yesterday I was studying for physics well pretty much this past weekend I've been studying for physics so the chemistry exam had opened up and so after I put down my daughter from 8 to 12 I just went ahead and knocked out my chemistry exam it was open note so it was pretty pretty easy but however it did take me a lot of time to just go through and like find the information to answer the questions but completing that ahead of time just made me feel a lot more productive and feeling accomplished for that day and those are just really good things to have as far as like setting goals so that you do feel accomplished and you do feel like you have done something productive with your time and that also would allow me to free up time for just solely focusing on physics and either spend more time this weekend with my family or to get a head start on studying for my PASO exam next week. So setting goals is definitely um, has helped me in managing my time. Another thing is being flexible. If you're not flexible now, you will be for sure with having a child. You just have to be flex you just have to be flexible. And being flexible has definitely helped me. Um, there are plenty of times where I have to change up my schedule. I might have to take her to the doctor. I might have to go grocery shopping. But I'm constantly always listening to lecture, whether or not I have the AirPod in one ear or I have my notes while I'm cooking or I'm running to the store. I'm listening to lecture in the car. I have The beauty of having my lectures recorded is definitely um, something that is a great study tool for me so that I hold myself accountable and not allow myself to make excuses for not being able to study. Definitely in the beginning when I first moved here, I was by myself for a little bit because my husband was back home. So I had to miss a few classes in the beginning because I didn't have a sitter to watch my daughter while I was in school. So I was able to listen to lecture. Just recently I had my sitter cancel on me 30 minutes before my first exam and I had to bring my daughter to school with me my professor seemed like he was upset when I called him but you know what I had to do what I had to do but you will have those hiccups and for me personally I did feel a little bad because I kind of I shouldn't have allowed I shouldn't have let what he thought of me get to me but it did and you know what I just had to pick myself up and I had a friend that gave me encouragement to tell me that you know you are doing the right thing no matter what anybody thinks of you you are a good mom and that's what i want to let you know as mothers out there that are wanting to go back to school it will be challenging but don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do this i for a while when i was pregnant i didn't tell anybody i got into crna school because i didn't want people's negative perception to tell me how they didn't think i was making the right decision or they didn't think that I should be doing it I should be focusing more on being a mom than trying to go back to school but honestly like I didn't give a flying F what they thought because I knew that I could do both and I know that I can do it and it'll be so worth it in the end so I say that to say this that you can do whatever you want and don't let anybody box you in or tell you otherwise you got this and you have the support of plenty of different women out there, especially SRNAs that are moms like myself that are doing it and you can do it as well. My last tip that has helped me is definitely asking for help. 
there are times where I just need a moment to myself. There are times where I just need to be able to get a couple things done without having my daughter with me. And that's where I ask my husband for help, especially. We just recently also got a nanny so I could I can make it to all of my classes, which has definitely helped a lot. With me being new in the area, I don't have family here. I don't have any friends here. So definitely asking for that little bit of help. Even calling, I even call my friends back home and just, you know, have a little powwow. They give me words of encouragement. And that definitely pushes me and helps me to be able to succeed or feel like I'm succeeding at this point. So it will be hard. I'm not gonna lie. I run off of four to five hours of sleep every day, but in the end, it's gonna be so worth it. So if you are a mom out there, and you're considering um, going to CRNA school, or uh, considering applying, apply, do it. There are plenty of people that have done it. I'm doing it. If you ever need words of encouragement, advice, please feel free to DM me, email me. I'd be more than happy to give you that encouragement and push you and give you even more further tips and tricks as to how I do it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.